There you have it. Some of the sounds of spring, and those are frogs making a lot of noise in our area. With the temperatures on the rise, the annual ritual has begun. And with noise comes closer examination. Now, the frogs can typically be heard at dusk for the most part, but there has been some croaking going on in the middle of the day these days. Yeah, and it can, it's kind of loud, it sounds like. <coughs> exactly. Fox 11's Eric Peterson reports that the scientists are tracking what they hear now to gauge the future health of the frog. At this roadside wetlands area in Squamico, hundreds of frogs have come calling. The northern leopard frog is one of 12 frogs native to Wisconsin, and early April is the start of its mating season. Those are the males calling. Males are really just doing the calling, and they're attracting the female out there to hopefully lay their eggs. And just down the road at Barkhausen Waterfowl Preserve. Right now we're hearing some leopard frogs calling, some of the northern leopard frogs, and they got kind of like a snore sound. I sometimes think of it as like taking like a, a hand over a rubber balloon. I'm also hearing some quacking sounds and uh, wood frogs uh, sound like quacking ducks out in the woods. Jason Petrella says the season is on time this year, but DNR scientist Andrew Badgie says the leopard frog is on the agency's watch list. He says water quality, loss of habitat, and laboratory research contributed to about a 50% decline in the species in recent years. And there are ways people can help. At thousands of sites across the state, citizen scientists can listen in and write down what they hear. It's part of the Wisconsin Frog and Toad Survey. Through that, we can uh, look at all the data, figure out statewide distribution, and more importantly, it was designed to look at um, species, whether they're increasing or decreasing or staying the same. Meanwhile, the frogs in this bog may be making their own comeback, thousands of eggs at a time. In Swamico, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. And there's more about the frog and toad survey or upcoming frog events in the area. I suppose humans are able to attend them. Uh, that's available through the Newslink section of our website homepage.